morning. Welcome to our second day at Lake Jinx. The sun is just about ready to shine on our camp. And I was thinking, I forgot to look at the stars. This is the fifth time I've gone camping overnight. And every time it gets dark, I just climb up in my loft and go to sleep. <laughs> and then I think, oh, I should have looked at the stars. So that's going to be my goal for my next camping trip is to stargaze. So I'll give you a look around here in just a second. How are you? How are you, buddy? Bud, look up here. Bud, bud, hi, 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 honey. Everybody had a wonderful night. They just all cuddled up together and um, had a great night. So we're going for a walk up that path. Be right back. I am just so thankful to the God of creation that he allows me to exist at this time in this place. Do you guys ever feel like that? Well, I'm in the San Bernardino National Forest, and I think it should be called the San Bird Adino National Forest because I see so many birds here. I've seen the stellar jay. That's the big blue jay. With, looks, it looks like it's wearing a black hood. Has a peak on his head. Very cute peak on his head. I'm making a pretend peak on my head. And <laughs> I saw a robin which we never see in Southern California, unless you're at high altitudes. I saw a, a wren. I saw a... I've heard lots of acorn woodpeckers making their call and also pecking on the wood. I've heard the uh, mountain chickadee, the one I told you about before. It goes... <laughs> when I whistled a minute ago, it woke the dogs up. Look at Precious behind me. Hi, Precious. And there's baby Snow on my lap. She's taking a nap on this in the sunshine. Last night I heard an owl. And I've heard a bunch of different ones that I can't identify that I don't know yet. So I have a lot to learn about the birds in the San Bernardino National Forest. I told you I was going to report on my uh, camping overnight and it went very well. It um, was quiet, very peaceful. I didn't hear anything until early morning. I heard some trucks going by way down on the road. It's way far away. That you could hear them sound like they're big trucks maybe I think they're working on the roads up here and um, other than that it was a good temperature I had all the right equipment to stay warm I think the dogs were a little bit cold this morning but they were all cuddled up together which is cute because at home 
they just all sleep in different places in different rooms. <laughs> but here, camping, they all cuddle up in one big bundle. So it's very cute. You will not believe what I see walking up the road. Look at that. It's about a hundred kids from a camp. Look at that. So much for being out in the middle of nowhere, huh? <laughs> so nice. Wow, looks like they changed their mind. They're going to come up my road. <laughs> okay, I told you I was a fork in the road here. <laughs> here they come. There they go. That was interesting, being out in the middle of nowhere, seeing a hundred kids walk by. <laughs> Just goes to show you, even when you're out in the middle of nowhere in Southern California, there are people. <laughs> okay guys, if that wasn't weird enough already, this is weird. The hundred kids just came back down the road and the counselors came over to my camp and asked if I knew where the Santa Ana River was. <laughs> They're lost. <laughs> These counselors with a hundred kids, they're lost. And about 50 kids were crowding around my car here and looking at everything and picking up my water bottles and playing with the dogs. And the dogs are just like, oh, my dogs have never seen so many children all at one time, all reaching out and grabbing them. Thank goodness they were good dogs. They didn't do anything weird. <laughs> Even little Snow, she, she was a bit overwhelmed by strangers picking her up, but she did well. So funny. Oh, yeah. So anyway, they'll, they'll be back because they just went up this road and that road, as far as the map can show, uh, that road doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> they'll be back. Well, we're all packed up, heading out almost to the road and boy it was beautiful great place to camp maybe you can come here someday i'll talk to you next time god bless you and adios